Hi everyone, welcome back to Aunt Susie's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to make banana pastry cream. Pastry cream is an absolute staple in any baker's kitchen, and it's so easy to make. I wanna show you how to do that today. I know sometimes it can appear to be really intimidating, but it's not. So let's go over the ingredients for this banana pastry cream. I have two very ripened bananas. I also have a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, four whole eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of milk, four ounces of butter, and I just sliced them into little cubes, and I have one half of a cup of granulated sugar. So I do mine inside my blender, and um, I wanna show you how. I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of these ingredients to my blender bowl. How easy can that be, right? Cornstarch is going to help this um, custard-like filling become smooth and silky, which is really what we're looking for. And then lastly, the eggs. We're going to leave the butter and the vanilla to the side because we're going to incorporate them at the end after everything has been uh, cooked. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this. That's simple, it literally blended for about 15 seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead now. We're gonna cook this pastry cream and I wanna talk a little bit about uh, the pan that I am using. This happens to be a saucier, and um, a saucier is basically made with the intentions of cooking something so that it doesn't get caught down along the bottom. You see how the, uh, the bottom here is rounded as opposed to most pans that come very straight, and then stuff gets stuck in the corner and it tends to burn. So the bottom of this saucier will allow me to whisk the pudding constantly while it's cooking so that it doesn't stick or burn. I'm going to put this on um, a medium-high gas. I want the pan to come to temperature before I add the ingredients and then I'll turn it down and we're going to whisk constantly while we're making it. Um, the saucier also has a very large wide top and that is good when you are making liquids that uh, require a reduction. And you definitely wanna make sure that you do your research on what type of saucier you're going to buy because like any other product out there, there, there are some that work very well and some that don't work so well. So this was actually a Christmas present from my children last year. It is my favorite kitchen pan to use. I use it for so many different things from sauces to uh, making my puddings and a lot of things in between. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and get that smooth mixture that we just made. And we're just gonna pour it right in there. Look at that beautiful color. And that color comes from the eggs. And now remember, we have some cornstarch in here and we also have eggs and both of those are gonna work as thickening agents. And cornstarch will never get to its maximum thickening potential without it being fully heated. So I'm gonna start now whisking, and I am going to continue to whisk, and I'm gonna time this for you to give you an idea. Again, I have this on a medium uh, flame. I don't want it to cook too quickly, but I also don't want it to take all day. So I'm gonna watch it, and I might adjust the temperature as the liquid comes up to temperature. But once you see the bubbles breaking the surface, you actually wanna let it continue to cook for a full minute after those bubbles break the surface while you're constantly whisking and then you will have the perfect consistency to your banana pastry cream. Okay, so I just wanna show you where we're at. We have been whisking continually for about two minutes now. I can feel and I can see that the pudding is starting to thicken and along the edges is where it's really going to start thickening first. So you see how I am removing those um, more firm sides. I'm going to turn the gas down a little bit because again, as it's coming to temperature now, this process is going to speed up and it's going to thicken very quickly now. So if I stop whisking for just a second, 
I am looking for those bubbles breaking the surface and they're just starting to break the surface. You see, it looks like it's starting to breathe and there we go. So now I am going to time it for one minute and I'm going to continually stir and after that minute, this is going to be done. Okay, so that's it. It's been a minute and I've been whisking continuously for that minute. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the gas off now. And I'm actually going to move this off the heat so I can just add the last of the ingredients and finish this up. Okay, so we've removed our pudding, our pastry cream from the heat. I have it on the counter now and I have it on a trivet. So make sure you don't put your hot pot on top of your countertop. And we're just gonna add the last few ingredients and that is uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. And then I have that butter. I'm just gonna drop that in and I'm gonna continue to whisk. And the butter is going to start to melt and it's going to add a beautiful gloss. And we're just gonna finish this up. That's it. Okay, we need this to cool down completely now before we use it. I would say at least four hours, if not overnight depends on what your, um, you know, what your timing is and what you need it for. It's definitely one of those things that can be made ahead the day before. And once we have it all finished, it will last in the refrigerator for up to three or four days. That's if it lasts because mine never lasts. What I don't use in cakes and cupcakes and cream puffs always gets eaten by itself by my family. Okay, all of the butter is incorporated. So now I'm just going to grab a bowl and I'm gonna grab some uh, plastic wrap so we can get it ready to put in the refrigerator. Okay, so I have a sifter and I'm just gonna put that right over the top here and I'm going to pour the cream through the sifter into this glass bowl. And the reason why I wanna put this through the sifter is because we cooked eggs and we cooked bananas and we wanna make sure that we don't have any lumps in there. We wanna make sure that we have a really nice, smooth, finished result. So just gonna force this through. And that's it. And you can see all the little impurities that I just kind of pushed through as far as lumps or what have you. And that just keeps everything really smooth scrape off what's on the bottom. You do not want to waste any of this, I promise you. This is going to be something that you're going to say, I'm going to make this and just make it to have it, to eat it with a spoon and some whipped cream. Um, but we're going to actually use ours as a cake filling. We're going to turn this into a Bavarian banana cream later on today. Once it's done cooling completely, I have my plastic wrap. And I just want to show you how we're going to go ahead and cover this. You want to make sure that the plastic comes in direct contact with the surface of the cream. You do not want to leave any space for air and you do not want to have an opportunity where the top of the cream can form a skin because that's very unpleasant and it will absolutely happen. If you would have just left this and just covered the bowl itself, you would have developed a thick rubbery film or a skin as we call it over the top of the cream. And when you went to mix it up, it would have incorporated and made lumpy rubber um, little pieces throughout your pastry cream. That's definitely not appetizing at all. So this is going to go in my refrigerator and it's gonna stay there for at least four to six hours until it has completely cooled. Okay, so it has been six hours and our banana pastry cream has been in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna just remove the plastic and then I told you that I was going to actually turn this cream into a Bavarian cream. And really all that is, is we're gonna lighten this up with a little bit of fresh whipped cream. But look how beautiful the consistency is on that cream. Look how nice and smooth it is. And those little black flecks that you see throughout, 
are both a combination of banana and the vanilla we use has a pure vanilla pod in it. So sometimes the pod releases a little bit of vanilla specks also. So that's what that is. So I'm gonna put that to the side and just grab a bowl. And I'm going to put about two cups of banana cream into this bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add about a cup of the whipped cream. Now all I'm going to do is fold the whipped cream into the banana cream. And it's gonna lighten it up. And then I'm gonna use it to fill a cake. Now at this point we have some banana cream left and you can certainly grab a few parfait glasses, grab some vanilla wafers, layer those in a parfait glass, alternating wafer and pudding, and finish that up with some whipped cream. Your family would definitely not object to that. I know that my husband will probably finish off that cream over the course of the next few days with a spoon while watching TV. So that's it. There is the Bavarian style banana cream. And like I said, it's just that we've lightened it up with a little bit of fresh whipped cream. And you can see how delicious that looks nice and smooth, and we're gonna use that inside a cake. So that's it, guys. We have made today some beautiful banana pastry cream. We went one step further as if this wasn't delicious enough, and then we turned it into some beautiful banana Bavarian cream. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish making this cake. You guys get in the kitchen and give this a try. Make sure you come back and see us here on YouTube at Aunt Susie's Kitchen. Stop over in social media and see us there also. We are Aunt Susie's Kitchen on Facebook and Susie's Kitchen on Instagram. Thanks again. See you soon. And don't forget, there's always something good cooking in Aunt Susie's Kitchen.